Hello, welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we are solving for 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 8 to the power of x. The first thing we are going to do is divide the whole equation by 2 to the power of x. That way we can cancel out our 2 to the power of x here, and then we will be able to simplify and reduce these two down to 2 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x. Now what we are going to do is rewrite 4 so that it has a base of 2. So we'll have that will change to 2 squared so it'll be 2 to the power of 2x. Now we are going to use an exponent property to switch around our 2 and x. So if we had a to the power of bc, we can say that is equal to a to the power of b to the power of c. So in that sense, we can rewrite this as 1 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x squared. Now what we can do is replace 2 to the power of x with a numerical value, and we'll use u. So 2 to the power of x will be equal to u. If you ever need to pause to continue write, writing to catch up, please do at any moment. So if we replace 2 to the power of x with u, we would have 1 plus u is equal to u squared. Next, we would rewrite this, so we would subtract u and subtract 1 so that this equation would be equal to 0. So we'd have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now that we have done that, we can apply the quadratic formula to this equation. We would have our a value, our b value, and c value. If you're uncomfortable with the quadratic formula, in the next couple days I will be coming up with a video solely dedicated to learning more about that. But if we used it, we would have u is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. Now if we simplified that, we would have u is equal to negative, or this will turn into a positive 1, a negative negative 1, plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 1 which then, because of the plus or minus, we would get two answers. We would have 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's move on to a new slide. So what we're going to do is we know our u value is 2 to the power of x. So this is when we are going to substitute that back in. So we would have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, this option right here is not possible to solve, because we are going to get a negative value. 1 minus square root of 5 is going to give this fraction a negative value. And no value for x would make 2 negative. Exponent properties, it's not possible. So in that case, this is not an answer. It's not possible. So our only option is the positive. So in order to solve this, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we have natural log of 2 to the power of x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now applying some logarithm properties, if we had log x to the power of b, that would be equal to b times log of x. We're moving our exponent to the front of our logarithm. So, in this case, we would move x log, natural log of 2 is equal, equal to natural log of the right side stays the same. Now lastly, to get x by itself, we're going to divide by natural log of 2. So 
The final answer is x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, which is over natural log of 2. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.